Hi, welcome to FETV. I'm Sean Booker. Bringing electricity to remote areas can be a daunting task, especially if those remote areas are islands. Dealing with weather, water, and other outdoor elements means the work must be completed efficiently and above all, safely. Our FETV crew caught up with the Ohio Edison team working on replacing submarine cable between Middle Bass Island and North Bass Island in Lake Erie. Let's take a look at this exciting project. My name is Brian Reinhardt, project manager with Ohio Edison. Today we're replacing the submarine cable going between Middle and North Bass Island. As you can see behind us, uh, we have a barge out there. We installed a new trench in the water, and right now divers are down inspecting the trench and making sure it's clean. And we're actually going to start pulling the new cable into Middle Bass Island. We're on Middle Bass Island right now. For those of you unaware, North Bass Island is the northernmost island of the Bass Island chains in western Lake Erie. The cable that we are replacing was originally put in 1956. It was the original cable and that's when the island first got electricity over there. Uh, North Bass Island is actually a fairly remote island. There's only 16 meters up there, maybe a dozen people that live there. Since it's a remote island, it's been a challenge logistically. Uh, the cable comes in by barge and it's rolled off. It's approximately 6,200 feet between the two islands. Maximum water depth between the two here, anywhere between 35, 40 feet. It's been about a two year process to get this initiated. And Ohio Edison's reliability group, Jeff Hearing, was actually instrumental in getting this started. We've also had tremendous support from Augie Ruggiero from the Environmental Department with all of our environmental permitting on this job. All in told, this is going to take about a month, two months for actual construction. We hope you enjoyed this FETV segment. As always, have a great day, and remember, make safety a way of life.